thank you swasti for uh, uh, you know your your kind words and thank you mr mittal for your comments and encouraging words ladies and gentlemen this is ramraj pai i am the chief executive officer of the india impact investing council it's my privilege and honor to introduce to you the chief guest as well as the guest of honor shri nitanji gadkari sir honorable minister for micro small and medium enterprises government of india who's with us today we are deeply thankful sir that you've taken time off from your busy schedule to be with us here before we hear from shri nitin gadkari sir a quick introduction to him shri gadkari has had a long and illustrious career in various roles both within the state government at maharashtra as well as the central government a dynamic leader with a strong track record of execution he is also sometimes called the flyover man because of his work in the public works department minister of the state of maharashtra where under his leadership a series of roads highways and flyovers were constructed including the mumbai pune expressway india's first six lane concrete high speed expressway the ministry of msme has been at the center of action over the last year and more so over the last few months for a series of steps that have been taken to support the sector which has been facing the brunt of the challenging economic situation in the interest of time i'd like to highlight just a few these would include the availability of greater funding to msmes through government support through full or partial guarantees liquidity support through the trust platform as well as the samadhan platform priority in procurement through platforms like samman and a substantial expansion of cgt msc funding which is available to the sector ministry has also worked substantially towards supporting the startup ecosystem with the fund of fund scheme of the government of india as well as the latest rbi guidelines on recognizing startup funding as a priority sector funding from banks we are deeply grateful sir for your presence here ladies and gentlemen mr gadkari sir for you thank you sir thank you i can start now yes sir please start sir please start all uh, dear respectable friends it is a pleasure and pride for me to interact with you presently the whole world is facing the crisis of covid 19 also in india also we are facing this problem because of covid 19 there is lot of impact on our personal life social life political life everywhere we are facing crucial challenges in the economy also we are facing crucial challenges first of all this is the time for the country that we need to understand the problem first and we need to understand part of living with covid-19 we have to protect ourselves at the same time we need to take all preventive measures and i am confident that this art of living is very important we have to maintain at least 2 meter distance between the two persons using of mask using of hard detergents soaps cleanliness is very important and by which we can protect ourselves there are other important point is this is the very very crucial challenge to the country actually it is for the whole world but in this challenge what we need is positivity and self confidence these two things are very important some of them the people are very very frustrated and they are negative at the same time loss of confidence is also there so they are facing more crucial problem no doubt this is a serious challenge to all of us with our with, with our positivity and strong political will and self confidence i am confident that we are going to win this war we have to win the war the economic war is equally important and the war against covid is also equally important with positivity and self confidence i am confident that we will win both wars 
regarding the activities or social work which already the people like you who are supporting the lot of ngos social organization is really a very very important thing for the country the social consciousness social awareness <laughs> social responsibility is very very important we are all part and parcel of the society we are one family and we need to work for poor the people those who are socially economically educationally backward those who have it's a very difficult task for them for their survival it is the duty of all of people to help them to promote them to educate them to inspire them to motivate them by which they can stand on their own legs and for that reason people like you they are supporting the social activities the ngos i always remember one of the sanskrit song which inspired me and motivated me that manasa satatam smaraniyam vachasa sritam vadaniyam lokahitam mam karaniyam and that is exactly the spirit of our work i know that business is business in business we need to earn more actually but at the same time whatever the profits which we are getting we should have a attitude approach and behavior of social responsibility by which we need to be very helpful for the poor people who those who are socially economically and educationally backward i know that many of the people those who are doing excellent jobs in the field of education some of the social organization ngos those who are working in the field of health some of the people they are as a social entrepreneur they are trying to develop giving employment to the people by which the socio economic transformation process is accelerated my suggestion is we have to see that that how we can be helpful to create jobs how we can train the people how we can educate the people how we can develop the skill by which these people can stand on their own legs and that is very very equally important particularly in the rural area agriculture area tribal area 115 aspirant districts where we are all facing the problem of poverty unemployment and these are the crucial challenge for the country in the agriculture sector there are a lot of technology where we can convert waste into wealth and the most important wealth for the future is knowledge the innovation entrepreneurship science technology research skill and successful practices we name it as a knowledge and conversion of knowledge into west knowledge into wealth and conversion of west into wealth is the future for the country so i know that you many of the people who are already in the seminar they are a very successful businessman they have got good success in their business having good turnover but that is because of their vision because of their technology because of their quality and giving donation to the social organization is very very important but giving skill and giving knowledge to the poor people those who are socially economically educationally backward by using the present raw material which is available with them on the basis of that if they can resolve their problem of their unemployment then that can be nothing like that 
helping to the people limitedly it is very important but in place of that it is the time for all of us to find out the way out that how they can stand on their, their own skill that is very important so now the lot of experiments are going on in the field of agriculture organic farming is going on then there are a lot of thing related with khadi gramodyog particularly yesterday i inaugurated one uh, seminar for uh, in maharashtra we name it as kumbhar who was working for making uh, mud pots from that mud we are from giving them some machines and teaching them some skill by which they can make different type of pots and uh, even now we have taken decision to make full mandatory on railway station for tea so the idea is to create jobs we have solar charkha in the siri culture then lot of things are there my one of the suggestion to you is that there are lot of technology innovation research and successful practices available with the government institutions private engineering colleges iits and we need to take them up to the poor people right i'm giving you an example because i am also working as a social entrepreneur uh in my area actually in vardha actually that time i was not the minister for msme but from msme ministry the mgiri is the institute in vardha they have got lot of good research the solar charkha research is also from that organization they have hundreds of research so they one of the research is by using hairs either from animal or even for human hairs they are making amino acid and that amino acid is used for a organic chemical as a plant booster so when i visited there he gave me one bottle i take that bottle with me and we experiment that amino acid in my own agriculture form giving excellent result so with my friend one of friend we decided to start this and now we have taken every month one truck hairs from tirupati and we are making amino acid and giving it to the farmers this type of many experiments are going on even uh, we can convert organic waste into organic manual so we need to educate the poor people we need to take successful technologies from the government institution we have niri they have got lot of technology available with them from agriculture for rural area for tribal area now the bamboo we are specially stop the import of agarbatti sticks from china it can create job for 20 to 25 poor people so now we are making plantation of special type of bamboo by which our people can make that agarbatti sticks so we have got a huge potential there is a madhubani painting in bihar we can take that painting up to the western countries they will get good market we have siri culture we can make different type of textile from that we can use food different type of fruits vegetable and can use their uh, colors for printing all the people are doing lot of good experiments there are a lot of dedicated people with conviction those who are doing successful experiments even uh, i know that lot of ngos and the people who are doing lot of excellent jobs i am uh, the, the this program is today which is uh, organized and fixed up by dehat foundation which is one of the good foundation is also doing excellent job in our area so lot of people are doing 
they are sacrificing their career and helping to the poor people in the rural tribal agriculture sector at least the people like you we can support them by which good social work which they are doing for socio economic transformation our social consciousness our social responsibility social awareness this is exactly the indication of our national awareness and national responsibility i remember tukaram maharaj in maharashtra he is well recognized and respected he is a uh, we always remember that jekar ranjale ganjale yasi mane jo apule tochi sadhu olkhava devate tichi janava jo dukhi hai those who are really difficult for them to survive where the people those who are helping them they are actually like giving service to the god because these people are just like the god for us so this is the spirit and this is the feeling of tukaram maharaj india has got the a big background of thoughts and our uh, lot of sant our sahitya literature it is inspired us giving us a vision for socio economic transformation and that is the exactly the strength of our society and that is the reason that because of that conviction and because of that vision that people like you you are helping to the poor people i remember swami vivekananda he was telling every time that no philosophy can be taught to empty stomach this is the time for us that we have to first think about ourselves about our family about our parivar what about our institution and after that whatever the plus which we are getting with the blessing of the god we it is our duty to take the responsibility of the poor people of the society where how we can be give them a good service how we can be catalyst to useful for them that they can stand on their own legs and that is exactly the spirit of social entrepreneurship and this social entrepreneurship spirit is very important i am from last my 25 years i am known for flowers bridges and tunnels i'm making lot of project when i was minister in mumbai i got a varli bandra selling project 55 flowers mumbai pune express highway and now presently in the country also i'm doing lot of big express highway tunnels bridges everything but once in the interview the journalist asked me which is the notable work you are doing i tell them i already completed heart operations more than 10000 in in this 25 years with free of charge for the poor people we are running 1100 ekal vidyalay in gadchuli district in uh, that is naxalite districts near to chatisgarh maharashtra and andhra pradesh telangana so we are doing 1100 schools we have there i am doing lot of social work even i am i am maximum working in agriculture field for socially economically educationally backward rural people i am working in biofuel giving technology to the poor people that how it can be possible for them i am working in organic farming and presently it's a pleasure and pride for me by social approach though i have expertise for road construction bridges tunnels everything i am working in agriculture and rural and tribal area and up till now my institutions creating at least 15000 jobs for the poor people that is exactly my great success story but people are talking they are talk no only about tunnels roads and bridges but this is important that where i always feel that the politics is a instrument of socio economic reform by doing a lot of project in education field of education health services development 
economic development, creating employment potential, handloom, handicrafts, and a lot of poor people, those who have, it is very difficult for them for survival. If you can train them, if you can give them some skill by which they can be competent on their own, then nothing like that. So already your people are doing the excellent jobs. I'm giving my special thanks and best wishes to you. Uh, my last request to all of you that present time is a very crucial time. I know that the trader, businessmen, industries, entrepreneurs, all are in big problem because today this is not a good time. But my humble suggestion to all of you that this is for your survival is very, very important. But at the same time, the people, those who are depending upon you also, their survival is also equally more important than that. So this is the time that you have to take the care of all the social organization and NGOs, those who are facing very, very crucial problems. And this is our national responsibility and this is your social responsibility. And I'm confident that all of you are doing the same jobs. And that is a great pleasure and pride for all of us. That's the reason that I decided to give my time to you. I am giving my all best wishes to you, full support to you. God bless you. God give you tremendous power, resources, where 100% that can be useful for you as an individual. Or at the same, at the same time, you can... NGOs by which you can make socio-economic transformation in the society that is very, very important for our national reconstruction and making this country strong. Once again, my all best wishes to all of you. My best wishes to the social worker who are running NGOs and social organization with a social responsibility they are sacrifice, they are giving time, they are sacrificing their career. Society also, I also give them all best wishes from my core of my heart and giving all of you that the future is 100% very good. We will win the war against COVID-19 and at the same time economic war with self-confidence and positivity and strong political will, we will march ahead. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Uh, it was really motivating and encouraging to hear from you. While, as you rightly said, we are already doing a lot of work. I think the way you put it across in terms of the fact that we have to have more empathy for the really poor people and while we have to ensure the survival of our organizations, how do we ensure the survival of other organizations also, I think is something that we have to really, really think about. So thank you, sir, very much again for your time. Uh, and you have taken out time from your schedule uh, to be with us. Thank you very much, sir. And we hope to be in touch and we will keep you updated of all the progress that we are making. And I'm sure together, sir, we will we will definitely be able to come out of this challenge and, and continue to have India on the growth path that we are all very familiar over the last several years. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks. 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 Thanks.